So, hello guys, and welcome to the video. Today I'm here to present you the item counter 2.0. Yes, this is our second, uh, second, second version of a filter, you could say. Uh, I don't often make these, but it turns out that Nicemark really wanted something quite more extensive than I uh, made last time for this filter. Uh, however, I didn't read his tweets on Twitter. I must have passed by them somehow. Uh, and I saw them after I made the previous video, so I thought, well, we should probably make it someday, and someday is now, three weeks later, I think that's still within a reasonable time. So, uh, let's show our new setup, here's our old setup, here's our new one, we again have a bunch of chests and such, and I will turn this down for a bit. So, I'm just showing all the contents, so we've got a chest with this stuff, draft chest, important iron pickaxe, a bit broken. Uh, dispenser with some more stuff, a dropper with some more stuff, a minecart chest with some more stuff, and a hopper. So these are called, which are called of storage minecarts, and this is called a uh, minecart with hopper, as you can tell. Or actually, hmm, it's called my minecart with chest. Strange. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'll probably edit the filter by the time I upload it. Let me quickly take a note of that. Edit minecart. Names and I hope I see this later on. So, anyway, you just saw the content of all of these. Um, yes, we have entities, as well, these will also work with the filter. Uh, and as you saw, there are tons of different items, and there's a very good reason for that because this filter can actually, it will not just count the total amount of items like the last one did, that was kind of a basic function. No, what this one does is it actually uh, gives you a summary of all the different items within the selection, within containers. So anyway, without further ado, let's head, let's head into MC Edit. So here we are in MC Edit. Um, let's first just select everything. Um, let's go to Filters, to the Item Counter 2.0. Here we go. Uh, this filter has a lot more options than the last one. First of all, we have two more containers, which you again can add and ignore, or ignore. Um, and we have two extra options as well. Ignore data value and ignore prefix. So let me just first run the filter once to show what I mean with those. Um, so here we go. Uh, this uh, basically is a list of all items within all of these containers uh, categorized by ID and then data value. Uh, you can sort them by clicking on the buttons, as you can tell. And uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Of course, this is all using uh, code taken from this thing, which can also do that, so sorts and such. Uh, so yeah, I did not write a decent... I, only half the filter or something was written by me, the other half was actually uh, code taken almost directly from uh, the Analyze part of MC Edits. So I have to thank Code Warrior for that, who is, will be linked down in the description. He is the main MC Edit developer, and I'm pretty sure he wrote that part considering that I don't think this version of MC Edit is written by anyone else but him actually. Oh, no, I think there are, no, there are actually some parts of, the, of MC Edit written by other people, as far as I know, but I'm pretty confident he wrote this. So thanks to him for that. So we have these neat looking tables, and just like the, the Analyze function, you can even save to file, yes. Um, it's a bit annoying to navigate because this button only allows you to go one folder up. If you want to go into folders, you just have to uh, do something like this. Basically, if you have a folder here called folder name and you want to save it in there, then you would go for something like that and save. Um, yeah. So that's how that would work, but I'm not going to do that right now. I tested it off camera though and it works. Uh, so now let's get into some of the options. Uh, first of all, ignore prefix. Very simple option. Basically, prefix. the prefix is just the Minecraft colon part. If you have the uh, checkbox uh, checked, it will just remove that because it's not very useful. Um, as far as I know, it's meant for um, the mod API, so later on you would have mods like, I don't know, industrial craft dash, uh, um, cologne slime or something. But for now, it's not really used, so I definitely thought it would be useful to be able to ignore that because it's all the same. Um, then something else you can do is ignore data values, and then it will just display all in here. But and there's nothing to sort by, of course. And we'll just count everything together. So previously, now we have 55 wool in total. 
And if we do this, you can tell we have 26 of one world plus 18, that's uh, 44, I think. Then plus this is 53, plus this is 57, 55 actually. Was that right? I don't know. I have a very bad memory. Yep, it was 55. Okay, so I didn't miscount, and the filter also didn't miscount. So yeah, that shows how that works. Uh, as for the containers, I did some tests with the uh, I did some tests with these rather, and uh, yeah, the results do differ. I also did uh, count some of the results up. It seemed to work out quite well. Uh, so let's remove this one. Now we have less slimes, as you can see. Uh, slime refers to slime block, of course, but. This is, these are just the IDs as they are saved by Minecraft. Apparently item IDs are actually saved as strings, not as IDs anymore, unlike what I thought for a decent time, even though they, uh, the commands are uh, using strings these days. Um, but yeah, no, you, you just to learn stuff. So like this, you have some different rule values and such. And I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna just show some random stuff. I'm not going to prove it's all right. Uh, I did some tests off camera already with this. So if you want to test it, just go to the beginning of this video and check everything, I guess. Uh, oh, let's just do the entities this time. There you go. So yeah, as you can tell, that all works. And I think, as I get, just like with the previous one, there's not much of, uh, there's not much to show in Minecraft itself. So I think I'm just going to wrap this up here. Uh, so. Anyway, people, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video, but even if you didn't, please leave a rating. And I hope I will see you in another video.